Well, hello again. Welcome back, everybody. It's Sunday morning. It's time for some Tinkle Tunes. Yeah, I hope you all had a great week. I sure did. I'm excited for the nice quietude of Sunday morning. The kids aren't up yet. The coffee's hot and delicious. So this morning, I wanted to bring out an album that's really cool. Um, it uh, has a different kind of flavor and feel than a lot of the stuff that I've been bringing out so far the last few episodes. Um, but I still feel that this kind of falls underneath that, that loose veil of um, <clears throat> what we're talking about on these uh, quiet mornings. Um, this is more of an electronic kind of um, uh, experimental album uh, underneath the um, moniker of what I initially thought was some sort of um, artistic uh, collaborative uh, group of people um, I researched this a little bit and come to find it that's just a uh, not a pseudonym but a just kind of a moniker that this person goes under uh, a man named John Brooks, who is a British musician, an electronic musician, and he puts out albums underneath the name The Advisory Circle. Um, so this is a fantastic electronic masterpiece called Ways of Seeing. Um, I picked this up, well, obviously because it was in the electronic ambient section in my record store. Um, and I absolutely adore this type of music, but of course the cover art is very, <laughs> very grabby. Uh, looks like I found Willy Wonka's golden ticket, um, which I did in a sense. Um, total blind buy, didn't know anything about it. You know, like a lot of people who enjoy music, and especially a lot of people who really love this genre of music, you know, the ambient and electronic um, type of music, um, a lot of us folks, a lot of you folks, um, tend to gravitate toward things of an artistic, you know, um, I don't really, can't really think of a good way to put it, but you know what I mean? Like, you, you see things and hear things and, and feel things really, really deeply. Um, and so you gravitate towards stuff like this and you automatically are like, oh neat, there's like a little aperture thing right there. You know, and it's like, you know, film. Obviously this is um, an album dedicated to photography as an art. And, um, you know, you start to look at the back and you start to read a tiny bit about it they don't really they don't say anything about this and what it means and the most i can gather after researching it a little bit is that there was a british you know art um film maybe or or like a um a series that was put on their television like on the bbc or something like that it was dedicated to photography as an art form um, not just nature photography, but all, all forms and types of uh, photography. And so that's what you're getting out of this, is you're just kind of, you know, the music is kind of setting the scene for, you know, like I said, photography as an art form. Um, really cool. The music itself, um, really super chill, uh, ambient electronic music, like kind of kind of synthwave 80s feel. I don't think that this is associated with anything from the 80s. It's it's all contemporary. It's all modern day. Like I said, this artist, his name is John Brooks. He's a, he's a modern day individual. Does it all himself. He's, he's from Britain. And um, it's just fantastic. You get that real great like 80s synthwave, but not cheesy. You know, it, it's really, it's kind of brought up to speed. It's brought up to modern day. Uh, feels so you don't you don't get that retro like you know kitschy kind of like feel from it like you're listening to like you know Kenny Loggins or anything <laughs> you know you feel like you're um, just really immersed in a really cool 
artistic piece, um, electronic synthwave stuff. It's really, really, really great. Um, mostly really relaxing and chill. I mean, it, there's some parts that are kind of intense and, and a little more upbeat tempo-wise, but um, yeah, just it's really airy and fantastic. I get, um, well, I, I, use the, <laughs> I use the word airy as a way of describing it, but that's what it kind of reminds me of is the band air. I don't know if you folks ever, I think they're, are they French? It's a, it may be a French-British uh, duo of gentlemen, a um, group called Air. That's a lot of what this kind of reminds me of. Really cool, like Britpop electro, but there's no, there's no vocals. It's all instrumental, except for I think the very, very last track on the album is called No Way Back. There's some very, very subtle um, vocalizations, um, and that's actually what really, that song really reminded me a lot of the group Air. Um, but yeah, like I said, just real chill synthwave stuff. This is great to put on if you're just going to be milling around the house, making breakfast on this Sunday morning or, you know, whatever you're going to be doing. It's, um, really a, a really great find for me. I was really happy. You know how it is when you just, you go to your record store and sometimes you just impulsively want to grab something and you're never sure, but luckily the guys at my record store, um, there's a lot of people that go in there that have similar sense of uh, sensibilities and tastes as I do, and they know how to, they really know how to curate their shelves, and they really know how to like pay attention to their customer base. Um, that's why I love supporting your local record stores, folks. They know you, they get to know you, and they, they want to, like I said, curate to your your tastes and your sensibilities, and that's, um, you know, my my record store, you know, over these last this last decade that I've really been making a point to, to buy music that way. Uh, those guys have always been there for me. Real cool, always stocking the shelves with really interesting, unique stuff. I've never seen this anywhere else. So, you might have to get on um, the interwebs if you want to buy a copy of this. Um, but I'm sure it's not very expensive. So, But yeah, once again, the album's called Ways of Seeing by the Advisory Circle, which is a man named John Brooks. Um, the record label that puts it out called Ghost Box, um, I think they're responsible for also putting out a lot of really cool, uh, just electronic and, and just kind of a little more like odds and ends kind of obscurities that you really, you know, you probably never, you sure as shit aren't gonna see on like the main the main shelf or the main rack in your record store. You're gonna have to dig. You're gonna have to dig deep. You're gonna have to go into that dark, dusty corner back there where, you know, all of the uh, symphonic music and electronic and ambient stuff where most most people don't really dwell. Uh, that's where all the best stuff is, right? Where the commoners, the commoners don't go. So, um, yeah, short and sweet today. Hope everyone has a fantastic uh, rest of your Sunday and heading into the week. And um, I hope this was a fun little piece of something that you can enjoy. And uh, keep it real. Call your mom. Tell your lover. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>